Hello YouTube, so today we are going to learn how we can deploy API and earn profit from it, earn money from it. Uh, this is the one website that provides the service and it's called Rapid API. When you click this link, you will see this is a marketplace for them where you can publish the API and whenever someone uses it, they will charge for money and I will tell you how they work. But basically it's just like this. Like if we look at this API, it's for football. Now they have this pricing set as $19 per month for a pro subscription and what they provide and how many requests anyone can send to this and whatnot so this is something that we will learn later on but this is how you can learn and also earn money while doing it so let's get to it i'll be using my favorite language that is python and yeah so you can see i have my projects here but definitely we are looking similar to this daily hd wallpaper we'll be building similar to it um, so let's get into it. So let me. So this is my folder that I have created just now, and where we are at the moment is Rapid API wallpaper. So if you look into this folder, it's completely empty. Uh, the folder is it is a subfolder in YT folder, as you can see, and then we have this. So what I usually do is I create a virtual environment. Uh, you should definitely consider doing whenever you start a new project. You should have a virtual environment. If you don't have a virtual environment, you need to pip install it. So you, you can you can install it by pip install pip install env. There are different types of virtual environment like virtual env and venv, but I prefer VN, venv. Uh, both are same, so it doesn't matter whatever you use. So now I already have venv. So what we can do now is now we just give the name of our environment. So let's say API app. So now oh, should be like this. So now we will have a folder up here, as you see. So now we just want to activate a virtual environment. So how we can do it is just go into that folder and that's it. But usually what I do, like it's very important when you start a project, you need to you need to be aware of how the folder structure should be like. So as I know, like this is the YT that is my YouTube. I have these projects going on. So if I am in future, I want to build an other project with the same requirements, I would just consider a virtual environment uh, in the main folder, not in a subfolder. But right now, I'm just I'm just explaining how things are, work in industry. So it's something that we need to be aware of now. Let's say we name our program main. And of course, I forgot to mention, whenever you hit this activate, you will have this environment name appearing at the end in the, in the front of your terminal. That means that virtual environment now has been active. You should definitely look for it. If not, then the virtual environment is messed up. You need to debug why is that. So yeah, now if you look at main, what the main will have. So what we want to do is we want to develop an API calls whenever a customer comes in, they use your API and get the information back and use for their purpose. So you are this middle guy who provides information. So first of all, to provide information, you need to get an information, right? So to get information, there are so many sites or so many applications on the net that gives you an information. So this is something that you need to consider. You need to have a clear idea on your application, what you want to do. So for our example, we are actually giving our users the customer your customer daily wallpapers and you just need to provide them wallpapers now sourcing those wallpapers is something us to decide right so what i have done is i have used the unsplash api so if you don't know what that is that Un unsplash is a wallpapers website that gives us free wallpapers and it has paid version as well but mostly i use for copyright free images so now you just need to sign up here if you haven't signed up here just sign up here now you have to go in uh, apis where was it uh, developers and api and your app so this is something that you need to be aware of now my app isn't demo because i was using this for a demo purpose and similarly you need to accept the terms and then whatever and at the end you will receive you will receive an api key so let's just demo one uh, testing purpose. So now 
we have this access key, we have secret key. So that's what we will be using, so access key. Those are the API calls that we need to make. And this demo app has a limit. It uses 50 requests per hour, and you won't be getting any wallpapers after that. So 50 wallpapers per hour that you need to be aware of. If you're applying for production, then the limit does increase, but it's up to you how you want to use this. So again, the RMI demo one is our API, okay? So going back here, now there are so many API frameworks Python provides. The easiest way to build an API is from FastAPI. I'm not sure if you heard it, but I think you should hear this, that FastAPI is an easy and lightweight API framework for Python. Uh, we also have Flask, we also have Django, but those are, Flask is a little lighter as well, but it, it comes in handy when you are also are aware of front end, and if you want to go ahead and build an application where front end is required, but for this particular API project, we don't require a front end. We just need this applications to, who, uh, who performs this request from all over the world, and you know, you fetches the data, passes the data, and all sorts of things. So we just require this API framework. So to do, uh, so to import, uh, to install it, uh, what we can do is the same thing that we did for virtual environment. We didn't, did, we didn't do it here, but you get the idea, right? So now we are just importing fast API. And while we are here, we also need to install the request. So now as we have set virtual environment, all these uh, libraries are going into that folder. So make sure you are having this on and let me adjust it. So you can see, you can see here, here, it's an environment set and now make sure it's in this environment or else the libraries won't work or even if you have installed it the pc won't recognize so make sure you double check everything is well set so now what we can do is we are just importing fast api so fast and then we need api responses uh, we don't need responses here. So if you want to learn more about Fast API, they have a pretty neat uh, documentation uh, that you can refer. Uh, it's evolving, so they are really focusing on it. It's really new technology compared to Flask and Django. But I like it. It gives a very simplicity to, to, towards Python, which is known as for simplicity, right? So now if you go back here, now. This is how we can in initiate this app. Now we have initiated app. Now what we can do now is keys. Now uh, in industry we have this saying we, we don't expose ID keys, right? So the best method is just doing this. Create a new file, name secret, whatever you like, and then ID key and paste it here, for example, this. And now what we can do is this. So now we are not exposing any keys here. And whenever we are, uh, we can say, uh, eating the document, right? We can just mention here that we don't want secrets item to be pushed to GitHub. So that way we are in full secure. We are not exposing our keys. Uh, it's a talk with, and it's a matter of time when we are moving this app to a production. We don't want those keys to be misused. As you see, we only have 5,000, and that is a uh, chargeable, right? So make sure do this. Uh, oh. I'll tell you why I'm importing this HTML response. Um, the first thing, just to just to test run uh, if our fast API is running, uh, this is something, uh, this is a decorator. It's, this is a decorator Python uses for this fast API. So now if we do this, now, now we just want to run it. Like this is a get method and it's, this is a home page. So now I just want to show you something. Uh, okay, we are missing two more things to install. So it's like the unique one. Gunicon and UVcon is something that is needed by Fast API. So Gunicon and UVcon is installed. So now to run this app, 
we just do this uh, main because that's our main app, right? And main app and then reload. So what does this do is it creates a link for us. We can navigate. And as you can see here, hello world. And this is a get method. Whenever we search something on internet, it's always a get method. And whenever we push something, like if the page is having this form, it has a submit button. We all that does a put or post method. It's always a post in most case. So, so yeah. So this is our get method. This is how fast UPI works. A very simple method. So um, what we can do? We just I'm thinking of something that uses this ID key. Um, something. This is my ID, but this is not something that I would be requiring anymore. Um, I'm just pasting it here. I'll maybe blur out while I upload this video. But yeah. So now, what I'm thinking is we just let's use that ID. I mean, access key, right? So to, just to make sure we can go and unsplash document and let's see how it. Is that authentication? Okay, this is how we do. Just bear with me. Okay. This is our header is different for our unsplash and then what, what was the APA call? Um uh, APA call is a base URL. Base URL is this, right? Yep. This is a base URL and then for and then random. Okay, uh, now, so for, like, if we do this API call, we will get our results back. So this is how we want to display our image. Remember, the response is always in the byte size of an image. So whenever you are passing this image to your customer, to your clients, or whoever you are providing your API, the response for that is always byte size, or it, it can be an image. How it depends on how they, are, they have set up, right? So now let's go into our website and then so I have closed that. Okay. Single server error. Okay. Um, let's see what I. Oh, I know why, why this is wrong. How it should work. Oh yeah, it works. Voila, it's magic now. So this is something, a random image from that API that we get, right? So this is something that we can pass on to our customer to use this image. So what now we want to do is we just want to deploy it in Rapid API and people will use this and you will earn money from it depending upon how many requests they make per day as we already have looked upon so i will uh, i will definitely make a second video on how we deploy on our video api till then see you on the next one take care bye